Hi everyone, I'm Vivian from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. So in my previous video, I've touched on the one, two and three bedrooms from Meatwood. And today, I'll be going into the four bedroom layout. Meatwood is a 99 year development by Hong Leong located at Hillview Rise, which is very near to Hillview MRT. It is set to TOP in September 2024 with a total of 564 units ranging from 1 to 4 bedrooms. So today, I'll be using 4 factors to analyse the 4 bedroom units. First, it will be the supply. Second, the demand. Third, the layout. Followed by last, the pricing. So firstly, let me touch on the supply. In the context of real estate, Supply and demand greatly affects your property price. So when supply is low in a high demand area, that's where prices are able to maintain or most likely go up. And of course, we should always try to avoid putting ourselves in a situation in which we select a unit type in an area where supply is high and demand is low. Because that will put us at a disadvantage, right? So understanding the present supply is the first step to give you a winning edge. In fact, I actually did a search on Property Guru based on 1km radius from Hillview MRT and what I found is there are only 33 listings selling on the market currently. And if you are familiar with the area, Hillview actually has a number of condos be it freehold or leasehold. Apart from those that are currently selling in the resale market, I also dig deeper to look into the unit mix for the 99-year developments around Midwood to understand the supply. The current 4 bedroom units in the vicinity include 26 units from Kingsford Hillview Peak, 84 units from Skywoods, and even though there is a nearby new launch project, which is Dairy Farm Residences, TOP at around the same period, there are only 24 bedroom units there. So if we were to add all of them together, it is only 130 units. And honestly, I don't feel that 58 more units from Midwood will affect the supply that much. Secondly, let me touch on the behaviour in this area, which is the demand. So the only way we can be more certain about this is through the transactions in the nearby developments to determine the behaviour. And if we take into reference from Skywoods, the most profitable unit type is mostly the 4 bedroom. And I also noticed that most transactions happen very recently, which is within this year. So this actually means that the demand is more geared towards the bigger layouts in this area. Thirdly, let us look at the layout. As buyers for 4 bedrooms tend to buy for their own stay purposes, so the emphasis in layout is very important. There are different stacks for 4 bedroom units in Midwood. Type A, 1249 square feet, which is on stack 17 and type B, 1259 square feet, which is on stack 12. The slight difference is at the passageway area. Midwood's 4 bedroom layout would be more suitable for bigger size families, for those staying with parents or in-laws. So this is because their common bedrooms come with attached bathroom, unlike the nearby projects like Kingsford Hillview Peak and Skywoods, where all the common rooms share a bathroom. However, the setback is, the master bedroom is a bit smaller as compared to similar projects and this might not be appealing to future buyers emotionally. Lastly, I would also like to touch on the pricing. So despite launching in 2019, the 4 bedroom units did not increase in prices and something noticeable is units only started to sell this year as compared to the smaller unit types which were transacting more frequently. So with slower take-up rate for 4 bedroom unit types, this might also mean that the developer will have more time to slowly increase the prices until they sell out. So entering now based on the current price list and relying on the developer to help stage up the prices is probably the safest as most of the units are selling close to break-even prices or below cost. There might also be some concerns as Miu is near to many freehold projects in the area. Take for example, the 4 bedroom in Summer Hill which TOP in year 2000 is selling on average between $2.3 million to $2.5 million. And if we take a look at the 3 bedrooms that are selling in the area like Glendale Park and Hillview Heights, the asking price ranges from $1.8 to $2 million. And that's almost the starting price for the 4 bedroom in Midwood. 
So no doubt there will still be demand for freehold projects for buyers who do not mind older developments and have the budget. But because the price gap between the freehold and 99-year projects near MRT is wider now, Midwood will still appeal to buyers who want to focus on affordability and prefer something newer. So if we do a price comparison with the nearby new property launches, Verdale, which is at District 21, their 4-bedroom actually currently starts from around $2.45 million. So Midwood being near to Hillview MRT and just one stop from Beauty World, it actually do justify this price tag. My advice for buyers is, if you're looking to purchase a 4-bedroom in Midwood, try to go for as lower floor as possible and go for stack 17 for the pool view as the pricing doesn't differ much for added advantage. My advice for sellers is, try to sell your unit as soon as you fulfill your 3 years mark as your layout may not be the most appealing emotionally. And that's all for my analysis on Midwood. And if you have not watched my previous videos on the 1 to 3 bedrooms, do watch them as I believe you will have something to take away from there. And again, this video is based on the current price list and of course, as the units continue to sell or when the developer adjusts the pricing, then we will have to reassess the whole price list again to see which are the unit types that are more favourable. This project might be suitable for many, but it still differs on individual needs and wants. And if you want a detailed analysis based on your current situation, do feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help you take a look. If there's a certain project you want us to review on, do leave a comment in the section below. And if you find our videos useful, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!